government has launched the National Electronic Pharmacy Policy and Guidelines to ensure inclusive pharmaceutical care in the country. It would also lead to full operationalization of a digital platform for providing pharmaceutical services across the country next year. Launching the platform, Vice President Dr. Mahmoud Baumia explained the digitalization of pharmacies would have the nation's pharmaceutical companies converged on one digital platform to address the difficulties of roaming and looking for medicines, ensure competitive pricing and sale of genuine medicines to the public. The e-pharmacy platform is aimed, according to the Vice President, at addressing four key concerns of health system, including reducing pharmacists to patient ratio, improving confidentiality of health information and privacy of patients, medical records and minimizing counterfeit and substandard medication in the country. Why e-pharmacy? This innovation is dear to the government. A few years ago, at the annual general meeting of pharmacists, I threw a challenge to the pharmacists present. How can we use technology to improve access to pharmaceutical care in Ghana in a manner that complements our traditional brick and mortar pharmacy? Yes, there is that personal touch to the traditional face-to-face -face patient pharmacist relationship, but there are ways that technology can improve access and delivery, especially to the large segment of the population scattered in the rural areas and the less urban areas. And even for those in the urban areas, how can technology reduce the information costs and transaction costs in accessing pharmaceutical services? Ladies and gentlemen, the innovations in our national health insurance, the deepening in training of our human resources and recruitment of health personnel, one constituency, one ambulance, the use of drones in the delivery of drugs, the innovation in institutional digital frameworks of the health sector, the agenda to build 111 health facilities to augment the existing ones are all major steps in achieving our goals. While tackling the inadequate infrastructure in the health sector, it is disheartening to see people spend so much time moving from one pharmacy to the another in search of medication. The innovation in improving pharmacy access to our people through e-pharmacy can be a game changer in safeguarding the future of our youth and ensuring national and responsible access to medicines on a scale we have not yet been able to achieve. Today, we are adding to the growing list of digitized platforms. E-pharmacy should help us address concerns for the proliferation of fake drugs and licensed pharmacy operations, reduce disparities in the cost of medicines, and tackle some of the major administrative and delivery issues that affect the practice of pharmacy. We can now speak with the public health of pharmacist Sheikh Farm Ibrahim Ibn Sana, who has joined us via Zoom for more. Thanks so much, uh, uh, Doc, for your time. What does the launch of the e pharmacy mean to health delivery in our country? Hello, Sh Sheikh Ibn Sana, kindly unmute for me. Oh, okay. Thank you. Can you hear me now? Loud and clear. Okay, that's very beautiful. Uh, the e-pharmacy um, launch today, which was graced by the, His Excellency, the Vice President, His Excellency Dr. Elijah Dr. Mahmoud Baumia, was a timely welcome because, um, like he said, there has not been full access in the pharmaceutical sector. A number of people would have to crisscross one place to the other 
looking to fill one prescription and they would not get. So in addition to the fact that they are spending money, there's also the tiredness, the time wasted looking to fill a, a prescription. And then also delay in pharmaceutical care in the wards. So the e-pharmacy concept is an, a pharmacy that is registered, registered retail pharmacy, just like we have with the brick and mortar pharmacies that engages in business day to day, just like what we see on the on, the, on our environment. But this time, you are doing it on an electronic base, on an internet base. So you can receive a prescription online and then you can validate the prescription and then fill the prescription and get the medication delivered to the person who is at the ward or who needs the medication without the person moving from where he or she is staying. So basically that is what the e-pharmacy has come to do. It's made sure that pharmaceutical services would reach every nook and cranny of this country. And then all those who have no access to certain particular medications, you have to go to maybe Tema to get the medications or move from uh, Kolebu to another place in town to get the medications. This time around, with the e-pharmacy platform, there's a leverage. There's a leverage for each and every one. You can access medicines across the country, anywhere you are, if you launch yourself on the e-pharmacy platform. And that is what is the innovation that has come to the market. Objective of this platform is to sanitize the system by dealing with issue of fake drugs in the system. How does this work? Yeah, usually the platform is such that you need to register. And in addition to the registration, all the medications that are uploaded on the e pharmacy platform would be registered by the FDA. In this way, all the medications that are on the e pharmacy platform have their batch numbers registered, verified, and validated by the FDA. So the issues of contraband goods, fake drugs, substandard products can all be dealt with by the pharmacy council and the FDA. So the general populace are very much assured of a quality uh, uh, medication. And then also, there is a database that is going to be housed at the uh, premises of the Pharmacy Council, which is riding on the national uh, platform, digitalization platform. So that will also be monitored. So once it's riding on that platform, it is easy to check with the batch numbers of the medication, which are good drugs and which are bad drugs. So any other substandard product cannot find itself there. Currently on the market, there's difficulty with staffing levels of the pharmacy council and the other regulatory bodies in checking every corner of the country which drugs are really good and which drugs are really not good. Mm. But with the e platform, you have a standardized platform where all facilities that enroll on the e pharmacy platform are checked and validated before. And then also you register. You are registered and there are a number of you know, conditions for you to fill before you enroll on the e-pharmacy platform. Mm. Pharmacy Council opens a logo that indicates that these pharmacies are certified to un undertake the e-pharmacy platform. Mm. So that, 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 this one is very efficient. Right, now, child? let's talk and about patients engaging pharmacists before and also assessing prescribed medicines conveniently, as you put it. How does this system work? It works in the sense that for each facility that wants to be enrolled on the e-pharmacy platform, there must be a registered pharmacist available. Also on the pharmacy delivery point and also at the pharmacy council database, there are pharmacies all over place at vantage point who will receive prescriptions from a medical doctor, a prescriber, or any other health professional that is mandated to prescribe they would validate and then it also offers a platform for an interaction with the patient then it also offers another platform for the delivery of the medications and the confirmation of the delivery for example if i send medication to you in takradi or i send medication to you in tema and i'm here there's a system where once the medication gets to you we can have a notification that you have gotten the medication 
But before then, any other questions that has to be answered or talked about, any counseling point that needs to be delivered, are delivered by the pharmacists in, in there together with the patient. So this is supposed to be across the country, right? One obstacle stares us in the face in areas where internet connectivity is bad. How does this work in the hinterlands, for instance, in the rural areas? How do patients there access this facility? Yeah, so in the first place, this is across the national database. This one is going to write on the government's uh, .gov database. So the whole country, the government is embarking on the digitalization program. And the program is supposed to be enrolled fully or operationalized by 2022. Now consultations are going on to make internet facilities accessible to any of the areas in the that do not have internet. Which means that internet penetrability will have to be increased to all parts of the country. The, the nice aspect of it is that you can use your mobile phone to access it. You can use your, if so, so long as the people have a mobile phone, uh, an Android mobile phone, they can access the, the facility. Mm. The same thing for pharmacies that they can access. Many people have mobile phones now, but the government has given an assurance that since it's riding on the national digitalization platform, which, has in, which is internet-based and it's rolled all over the country, every nook and, of, every, every nook and corner of the country will be covered. So if, if, if I want to log on to this platform, what do I do? If you log on to log this platform, you just go to the a national, there will be an e-pharmacy logo that will be provided for by, uh, at the end of this year and operationalized by next year, 2022. That logo, you can go on your mobile phone and download that logo. And then you are there on the e-pharmacy platform. Mm. Each individual pharmacy will have logos. The same logo will be embossed on each individual pharmacy that has been enrolled on the e-pharmacy platform. And they can also be eligible to, 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 for, to let the clients know that they can just log on to the pharmacy and then they'll be on the e-pharmacy platform. I'm grateful for your time. Sheikh Fahmi Ibrahim Ibn Sana, he's a public health pharmacist.